We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Bless you. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This is so not worth a 15% commission. Hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Lock me the door now. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your deer fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> no plan, really. Just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly that. But I'm gonna check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the pie contest judges, too. Uh, well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a largemouth bass early this morning. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, you know? <laughs> Considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy you feel that way. <laughs> well, Pat, that's kind of you to say. Nice guy. Normal. 
took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists? Wow, that sentence really flows, huh? Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face. Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh, how about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. Like the white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. I won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? I left my mark.